Hi guys, Tyler Wilkins here with Center Point Yacht Services. Today I'm coming to you from our Sturgeon Bay location, up here doing some photo shoots and, uh, and filming. Um, I want to check out this 2007 Marquis 65 that we have listed. This is a listing of Terry's, one of our Sturgeon Bay brokers. Um, but I want to check it out, so I thought I would bring you with me. So, it's currently in our indoor heated warehouse. It was in the water last year, it just is not in the water yet. This year, it's currently May of 2020. Beautiful boat, we are a marquee dealer. We sold a lot of these 65. It's, uh, most of them are still with the original owner because it's really hard to upgrade after you've had this. This is a MTU powered boat, bow and stern thrusters. 1500 horse MTUs. Massive props there. Kind of a big step there, careful. Obviously a retractable swim platform. There's a Zodiac uh, 380 on the back now, Avon. There's some dust on the boat from the winter, things like that, but obviously it could use a good cleaning, but including the teak floor. We've got a rear docking station back here in the cockpit, large cockpit table. This has always been one of my favorite spaces on the on the all the boats that we carry and sell. The interior of these 65 is just a great layout. Flat screen TV that pops up there. Said a four stateroom boat. Awesome galley. Full size appliances. V-berth with its own head. The master is actually aft of here, but this would definitely be a decent master in any boat. Um, there's two additional cabins with twins, uh, one with bunks. Storage cabinet here, bunk beds in that stateroom. Large full beam master. This boat has almost an 18 foot beam. I believe it's 1711. Um, so you get a lot of room here. Shower in the middle in between there. Large walk in closet on the port side there. Separate head uh, on the starboard side here. Lots of storage, everything that you would imagine. This walk in closet has a washer and dryer. Separate units, it's not all in one. We'll go back up, take you through the bridge, and then conclude with the engine room. It's a spiral staircase going up to the flybridge. Actually, let's see if it's open. Awesome space up here. Large table, plenty of room for everybody for entertaining, playing cards, anything. You're mostly enclosed in here with the side glass and then that's got its own heat and air conditioning, of course. Then you've got quick access to outside space too up here if you want to be outside, get some sun. Walk back down, we'll go through the, uh, we'll, we'll go down those stairs. Just gonna close this hatch, 
Go back down and go through the engine room. One of my favorite spots on these boats. Those massive MTUs are pretty cool to see. Got actually crew quarters back here. We'll go through the crew quarters rather than the cockpit floor. Got a head down here. Um, little single berth. This boat has just under 500 hours on it, I believe. Freshwater boat, low hours. 28 kW Kohlers, usually what's on those. I don't see it here. Um, I believe it's back in that corner. It has a little more, I think about 1200 hours on the generator. Look at the massive strainers there. About the biggest ones that I've seen on any of our boat. We've got a camera over there in the corner. Large fuel tanks. These tanks in here are about 500, just over 500 gallons each. Nice clean engines. Not a lot of discoloring from the heat. Anything with the low hours on this boat. I think that's about it. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out, comment on the video, um, reach out to Terry up here in Sturgeon Bay or myself, uh, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you got about the boat. Thanks.